Joining us now is Cenk Uger, founder and host of The Young Turks and a critic of Israel's actions. Cenk, I want to take you through some of the incidents and discuss them one by one and, and get your reaction. First, let me ask you big picture on the sort of the, you know, the bridges and the roads blocking the Golden Gate Bridge a few days ago, 38 people arrested. They bring barrels filled with concrete, chain themselves, had to be cut out by police, others blocking roads leading to airports in Chicago and Seattle, et cetera. Effective? Yeah, so there's a difference between strategy and tactics, right, Dan? So on the strategy of doing protests about this war, I couldn't agree more. And I love them for going out there and trying to do whatever they can to try to stop this war. On the issue of tactics, I know it aggravates people. They, it brings attention uh, to your cause, but it does it in a way that sometimes alienates the people in that city, et cetera. So I would, would I do a different tactic? I probably would. I would definitely uh, protest around defense contractor buildings, APAC, uh, and Christians uh, United for Israel. That's a Christian Zionist group that uh, drives this war agenda over and over again in Israel. So I would, I would be more specific. But anyone who's out there going to fight uh, in the their own way to try to save lives in Palestine. I love them for it, and I get it. And and Dan, I would also say, look, as you look at the San Francisco Bridge and all the, you know, yeah, traffic and all et cetera. But then we could look at it and go, how about a different bridge? How about the Edmund Pettus Bridge? Would that was that too much of an inconvenience for the people in Selma, Alabama? So at some point, you do have to do civil disobedience, and that's what it's gotten to. Um, but but again, I mean, at first I was agreeing with with some of what you said, right, in terms of strategy versus tactics. And then you say, but you love them all for doing it and getting out there. Yet I would think that your goal would be to actually do things that would be productive, right? And so you would be celebrating people who are being productive. And it seems to me that we agree, even if we disagree about certain aspects of the war, that we agree that what they're doing is actually counterproductive, right? So it, it depends on how you look at it, because it's productive in getting attention to the cause, and here we are talking about it. And I'll in a negative way. Again, I, mean, I, I appreciate I'm talking that about it in a negative because, way. No, no, but well, I'm talking about it in a positive way, because uh, 33,700 people are dead, 1.1 million uh, Palestinians are starving, and they brought attention to it. But at the same time, I get what you're saying, Dan. Like, so we used to do Turkish American Day in the middle of Manhattan. It would snarl up traffic. And I remember thinking, even as a little kid, wait, this is going to make people hate Turks, not like Turks. So I understand the concern. concern. But then you agree that they, at least they should surround defense contractor buildings and APAC yeah, buildings. Look, I think, I think protests yes. damage. Protests should be in targeted areas where they actually think that they can accomplish something. Now, putting aside, I don't want to debate with you the numbers again that you're throwing out, that we've now done a couple segments on this show that have demonstrated that those numbers being put out by the Gaza Health Ministry are simply not true. But nevertheless, there are civilians dying in Gaza, and we don't have to debate the numbers for the purposes of this discussion. Let me play you something that happened in New York City. Um, this is number five here. Again, I think you'll agree on this, that this is not productive. Let's listen. Not helpful, right, for, for the cause that, that you support, right, when chanting death to America and burning American flags? Yeah, super counterproductive. Right. Uh, I, I'm always surprised by people who make such silly mistakes. No, if you love America, you want America to do uh, be on the side of the better angels and help the Palestinians not get slaughtered. So that's not going to help your cause to say death to America or that you don't like America in that context. Protest is great, but let's direct it in a way so that we can get the action that we want. The strategy is correct. That particular tactic is obviously wrong. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.